Hi, welcome to the video showcase of the e-commerce store plugin Social Engine Magento integration by Social Engine Add-ons. We'll see here how this plugin provides seamless integration between Social Engine and Magento to give you the best e-commerce tools for your Social Engine community. As many of us already know, Magento is amongst the most popular and robust e-commerce systems and with this integration you get all the powerful features of Magento right there in your social engine store. The powerful social commerce setup that this integration gives you can enable you to create a vibrant community around your op. Let's have a look at the Magento store first. This is a Magento demo store and you can visit it online anytime at eShopDemo dot social engine add-ons dot com a very big plus point about this integration between social engine and magento is that you can have the front end of both your magento and social engine stores open to users so you can have users signing up on both your magento and social engine websites and the user synchronization feature of our integration will sync the newly signed up users on both sites if you just want one of these two stores to be open to users, then you can do that as well and hide your Magento store altogether, making it act like a back-end powering your social engine store. For this video showcase, I have already logged in on both the websites, Social Engine and Magento. The single sign-on feature of this integration will work if both the Social Engine and Magento websites are running on the same domain or subdomain. Now let's browse a bit through this Magento store. So here on top you see all the categories and subcategories for the products on my store. This is the home page of my Magento store. You have a banner here, products listed here. Users can sign up for the newsletter, attack cloud. On the right side you can see a number of blocks, products comparison, my shopping cart, my wish list, recently viewed products on the site, my previous orders. As you'll see on the left hand side, there are a lot of filtering options available. So users can filter based on subcategories, they can filter based on product attributes, they can even filter based on the prices. I have pagination available. Users can see the products listing either as a grid view or as a list view. This is the list view. You can see that the products listing is very attractive here. Let's get back to the grid view. Users can sort the products listing by position, they can sort by name or they can sort by price. They can also choose the number of products to be shown per page. Let's visit a main product page now. So this is the main product page. As you can see, there is a breadcrumb navigation on top, which enables users to easily navigate over the various categories, subcategories, the home page, etc. Now the breadcrumb navigation and the navigation which you saw on the left, which enable users to filter through the various products. All of them enable users to find out the products, easily find out the products that they desire. So this is the main product page. So you can see that multiple photos can be uploaded for a product. Users can magnify a product.
my store account, my wish list. Now when we'll soon visit our social engine store into which this Magento store is integrated, you'll notice that all these sections of my Magento store are available within my social engine website. And there's seamless integration. Now let's look at our social engine store formed with this Magento integration. We can see how well the Magento store gets visually and functionally integrated into the social engine site. So if you compare this home of your social engine store with the home page of your Magento site, you'll notice that the Magento blocks on your social engine site automatically inherit your themes CSS. So the various aspects of your page like the links, the text, the buttons which on your Magento site look differently integrate seamlessly in with the theme of your social engine site. So this visual integration happens automatically and this visual integration gives a seamless feel to the users of your website. Let's browse a bit through this social engine store. So over here on top you see the various links of your store products, my store account, my wish list, my cart, and check out. Over here are the various categories and subcategories for the products of my social engine store. A banner, the products listing, various blocks similar to the ones which were there on the Magento store. There's a products search, comparison of products, my cart, my wish list, recently viewed products, recently compared products and my previous orders. You can see best selling products, most liked products, most viewed products. There are many more widgets available with this integration. Again, you have two views available for products listing, did view as well as a list view. This is the list view. Let's get back to the great view. Products in the listing can be sorted based on position, name or price and the number of products per page can be changed by users. Let's visit a particular category. Again, you can see that the products listing can be filtered based on subcategories, product attributes, as well as price. This pagination. Let's visit the main product page. We had visited the same product page on the Magento site. And you'll notice some social aspects over here, which were not there in the Magento store. So users can like or unlike the product. They can suggest products to friends. They can share product. Depending on the product that the user is currently viewing, he is suggested other products that you might be interested in. This is breadcrumb navigation here. The products can be easily browsed through and the navigation is very friendly. 